Sie wird packen. Tarabello. Salve. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Hier on Tribune. The Ancient Game of Thrones? What the heck? If you clicked on this video, you most likely are interested in what kind of throne are these guys talking about? Well, Max and I, we are playing our amazing board game Tribune. It's a tactical battle game and uh, yeah, it features the Battle of Kanai taking place 216 BC in today known as Italy, uh, near the city of Kanai and a car sage against rome and it was the most devastating defeat in human history uh well that's why we chose this setup for our game and good lord what happens on this game it's just amazing so i would say let's check out the game of today uh the title is wolf pack and just kick it Ooh. What happened here? The game began quite hostile indeed as you prepare to attack me on the uh, black hexagons. But okay, I'm I'm actually living up to uh, you know, your threats and I'm attacking on the white hexagons uh, which in this case is a little bit more threatening because as this will open up in the future, I look at this uh, Sagittarius. And this is a little bit more uh, dangerous than you looking as, uh, at this has status. As this one is feeling kind of cozy. He's very well protected and this one might not have as much protection in the future. And by the way, that's what you usually do. It's always the same setup. You come with this Equus. By the way, if one or two guys out there are not familiar with this game, well, it is about placing your army correctly. You have the soldiers and by stacking them up, you will soon figure out the rules for that. You, become, uh, you get bigger units with different abilities and the icon on top, it shows you what kind of unit it is. This is a slave, a spearsman, an archer, a rider, and there will be more. And so now you uh, relinquish defense of this hexagon, uh, because uh, remember this one used to have three pieces here, but they are here now. So th these pieces are not protecting this one anymore, and so I'm just attacking it. Uh, basically asking you of what you are going to do about it, and you move and I'm the just over. proudly stepping ahead and saying, now what? My big brother is waiting for, uh, for me at the gates, and then I step forward, and now I am protected. And now what? Now I did basically uh, the next back, uh, best thing, I just thought, well, uh, what could I attack? And I thought that I might have some kind of attack on these straightaways. Mm. So by doing this, I basically prepared to build a ballista, uh, heavy alt, uh, artillery, that can go down these lines. And as you can see, I don't like the prospect of getting butchered by these riders, so I'm stepping ahead with my archer and saying, well, now you have to decide, do you keep your position, then you will soon gonna die. And you do the same exact thing, though it is kind of danger levels. Who is concerned more? Yeah, so essentially I just attack back. And, and you did like your Equus here. So... Yeah. You basically went forward, and I saw a very nice tactic here. Uh, I took here. Yeah, and, and it so, was just great. So the idea is that if you were to take here, then I can retake. It's yeah. basically like an X-ray defense. Yeah. 
and um, so and so this isn't a very good way to defend your uh, pieces. Yeah, no, and I know. It, and it also poses the threat of just simply taking your tribune. So you, you kind of have to do something about it. And uh, I suppose yeah, you, you went away, and I took. Oh no, I didn't. No, well, you didn't. Another attacker added to this layer of threat, and now here comes the ballista attacking on these golden rings. So on these this file, now this dude is under severe pressure. He's only guarded by this archer, and this is simply not enough for an attack of oh. two units combine maybe this simple slave saves the day maybe but it is still very uncomfortable and this dude still is a thorn in my flesh and so the idea is that if you were to move away i suddenly see this yeah. and that would be very bad if i took here yeah so you, you cannot really t run away from the either. I, just to mention, some moments ago it wasn't that bad. Because, well, this field is protected by two spearsmen from the sides, so I can take up to four pieces. And when a six high unit comes, like wait. the Lista... Let's put it there, right? Okay, yeah, well, wait. Then, then. So let's say you run away, you take then the ballista takes now no. uh, what when when i'm taking let's say i'm just taking two units i'm attacking with one of my spearmen and this is a rider and you see the red circle indicates i'm gonna die so what about taking four pieces attacking with both spearsmen simultaneously then he is a spearsman and he is still attacking my chibreen so I cannot take it at all. And I realized I'm in big trouble. What you took here? Yeah. Uh, somewhat disrespectful. No, but... chopping down the first attacker. If, like you mentioned before, this gate opens up, then it's over. So I'm chopping it down, smoothing the waves a little, uh, and you go for the honeypot. Yeah, and uh, so you can retake really four pieces, but uh, you would take with the hastatus, uh, with the, with the servant here. Yeah. Um, and right uh, now, wait, wait, wait. Um, if you may wonder what is happening here, we are still uh, sometimes repairing this board. I'm clicking on this button here to the left. You see, uh, then everything jumps up. Sometimes the pictures change for for a second and then everything falls back into place very neatly. So don't be disturbed if this happens because when we are going into this god mode, placing random pieces aside, then we have to repair the board and getting back to the game. And so I did this and this was an atrocious move. It really bad. And you cannot explain it any further. So before we go down this path, uh, we want to show you how how you actually would react if you took a little bit more time than I did. Yeah. So the the idea uh, that comes to mind is this. Yeah. And it doesn't look like a very good move uh, as of right now. But um, let's say you took. Right? Yeah. It's natural, right? You chop down this attacker, and now this is the only attacking unit at the moment, and maybe I can get rid of it. But now here comes the ballista. And it's going to go a real bad, real Yeah, bad. because I can take, right? I can attack. I can take three pieces, and then you have just an archer, and now what? You can't take the... Uh. Emperor. Oh, yeah. So you don't have to take back my, my archer. You just go for this Emperor. 
Uh, by the way, if you check out what Impero means, you you just commanding. He's now commanding my unit temporarily, so he can decide. Well, he can attack with his archer, so the archer is taking away this field. The spearman here is taking away this field, and this dude is attacking. But maybe I can chop it down, right? I have a spearman right here, and he could save the day. I can take two pieces, but no. The Emperor it's... situation doesn't change at all. It's enough if there are uh, half uh, the amount of, of prisoners as sentinels on top. So one piece on top of two is enough. And this is still Emperor, and I die. And so now the thing is, you could obviously not take three pieces but it's still very bad we uh, we played through it a little bit we're not gonna show all variations but uh, uh because uh, a we lack uh, the possibility of that there would be a lot of possibilities there but yeah. uh, b it's just not uh, very entertaining so so yeah but but this is not something you would want um yeah and the very important part is, or point is, that you give me momentum by by let's let's proceed with the game. When you when you do this, I can breathe, I can restructure, I can maybe find a way to protect myself. Yeah, and not only that, you can attack this ballista before because the essential thing of this attack is that here is a spearsman yeah if you place one of these pieces aside yeah now i don't have that and now this whole attack it's still there but it lacks uh, the punchline basically yeah, one move and so now you can attack me and basically yeah. force me into the same th sequence but this time it's not uh, lethal anymore, and, and that kind of yeah. sucks. You have to attack right away. I can chop you down, you can take Impero, and I can move aside because this field is now still open because you do not have the Spearsman, you have the Archer, and he's not capable of threatening this field. Yeah, and so at this point of time, I was a little bit annoyed. Um, yeah. Not a little bit, I was really, really annoyed. But that's what um, I mentioned before, it is so amazing. Uh, the, the Just the, the amount of possibilities what you can do on this board is just so mind-bending. Uh, but it's it's just fun. I, I like it. Now, you might think this threatens the archer here, but it that's does. not the point. The point of this, I don't know if you saw this in the game, uh, I like sneaky tactics, but essentially this is my point. Mm. I want to prepare this move, and now you cannot run on this hexagon, neither can you combine or go here, as I still have an Impero, and the uh, the Aquis, the Rider, yeah, takes away your way. Off. You yeah. know, let me pick this up. I can basically just move to this, these four fields. And as mentioned before, the two white fields were cut off by this Equus. This gray field is cut off by my own Spearsman controlled by your unit. And this is uh, taking account of the Archer. And well, this field, well, uh, I cannot combine there because I have no mate, but it would still be protected. So yeah, th that was the idea, but uh, you changed. And I I the saw state. this coming. I I sacrificed willingly this because I'm now taking two units, and I would lose three. So I'm down material, but it's okay. It's okay. Better than to oh, lose my head. That's a bummer that you found that. Uh, and now basically I had nothing <laughs> so uh, I tried now to restrict you again 
this is pretty good. Uh, it forces you onto one hexagon, yeah. as this is your only escape, but yeah, that's a it's pity. also not great. Yeah. Here was the archer. The archer was uh, taking away this escape field, but by transforming it into a spearsman to attack, you let go of this field and I can, and I can escape. Yeah, and so that was not good. Um, and I tried to, to threaten you here now, but this doesn't really work as you can take. Uh, and now I'm in trouble. Yeah, here this unit is defended by this spearsman and by the archer. If this archer wouldn't be there, then you could take, and I cannot retake because of the reasons mentioned before, uh, there would still be a spearsman bringing me down. Mm, but now it's quite hard to enter this, yeah, this fortress. And so I took as I knew that I would be taken in the next move. Yeah, now hey. I... I was in trouble because my attack died down and I was essentially down seven pieces, which I willingly sacrificed. Uh, but I kind of screwed up in my tactics and uh, so the sacrifice wasn't worth it. And so now I was essentially like trimming down stuff and bailing into a sort of... Uh, yeah, and and I went I went for this fork, uh, attacking your Tribune and attacking this Equus right away. As you mentioned before, I'm up material. Eight points, dude. This shall be enough. And so I'm mowing down everything. Uh, what the heck? It seems to be all right. Um, okay. And now, what I did uh, is first of all, uh, you have one piece on the board essentially. I, I mean, I get it. You also have six other pieces, but. If you cannot take care of yourself in this uh, very um, constrained environment, then you're just not spending your time very wisely. So, uh, I was attacked, I moved. Very simple, and whenever I wasn't attacked, I tried to get these uh, and essentially get them over here. And the same thing as I do, collecting all my soldiers, bringing them together to one party. And not just bring them together, but prodding and poking at every occasion so that you, in this case, had to split up again. Now here comes the second ballista. And oh, now... funny. Uh, I kind of blanked on this. There's yeah, like a fork. This is a <laughs> fork, yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. I still like your kind of technique. Um... Now I was, I was planning on going here. Honestly, I just mismoved this, uh, as I thought. If you took here, that could be very nice. I was just overwhelmed uh, by you saying that my tactics was great, because normally I'm the brute, you know, chopping everything down. That's what my kind of work is. But uh, this time I tried to be a little like you. I can maybe learn one or two things. And now I'm trying to chop away not pieces, but escape fields. Always be vigilant on where your opponent can move. And then take away these fields so that he gets immobile and is stuck. And then you get your your possibility to strike and, and you so are already already you are constrained to this limited field here at the edge of the board yeah so my my mindset was uh, maybe i can secure like a little land here and basically have a little bit of a fortress i really doubted it as you had a lot of pieces mm. Usually, 
the uh, the Centuria cannot hang on to so many pieces. Uh, there will almost always be a, some sort of tactic that will strip away one piece after another, uh, and then you get to like a situation where you only hunt the Centuria. But I thought, well, maybe I can prolong the the troubles of this game. And I still, just it is uh, it is everything under severe time pressure. Uh, when you I take mean, into account that there are so many possibilities on the board, and you have to find the right way. Yeah, but um, you know, as I'm, we're as the movement possibilities die down, as yeah. we drastically lose material, it's not that bad anymore. Yeah. Uh, to, to just think through the uh, the plans right now are very straightforward so you can very easily like throw away garbage moves for example uh, if you would split up a ballista into uh, a lot of small things that would most likely be a very bad move as you want to have a lot of big pieces so for example Taking these pieces here, you could assemble another uh, ballista, for example. You don't need yeah. to think how you're going to do it, as I'm not in any um, in any way, shape, or form capable of farming it. Yeah. yeah, that was essentially what I was looking for, that you cannot really move into my direction, and that's what you, you see. Now the equity. Well, double trouble on this diagonal, so you move aside. But here comes the next ballista, and the third ballista could emerge on this field. And yeah, I try to separate you from the rest of your troops. And you have to split yeah. it up. And also, you could also create another uh, Centuria Tribune. Yeah. But I don't think it's necessary. Uh, you have a lot of pieces in the attack, and I think... As I really don't... Uh, I'm, I'm not in the position to harm you, and if you don't have to, like, throw away your pieces, don't. Yeah, and... So uh, I really like this approach that you just created big things. The Sagittarius Tribune is... A, a fantastic conductor of this theater. He can stay in the background, holding the lines together, and lead the rest of his army to victory. And that's why I chose to, to keep him like he is. Yeah, no. This is another like tactic. Uh, this one attacks these hexagons, which are major pathway of my Centuria. Which is the reason why this is very annoying. So I essentially have to get rid of this, and I thought, well, I am th going here and here mm -hmm. to just get this one out of my way. Uh, um. uh, sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, and so... I'm gonna... And yeah, this is uh. basically what I try to do is always pin you and always pin the big pieces so that you can't move your forces. Yeah, now yeah, you try you try to to help help here, it's okay. But I can easily dodge this attack. <laughs> now you block Feels I'm kind of safe. I'm blocking and I'm threatening both, but still, this isn't great as you can uh, yeah. get an in between move. And we see this again. And this is very important. Here, you see these fields cut away. And because this dude left his position, he has an eye out here. You, you could go here, but no. Uh, the Tribune is guarding this field. This here, Sagittaria are perfect hunters if they cooperate in the right way, and in this case, they did. And so I cannot also cannot go there 
And so essentially my uh, my only movement is in this little uh, well area here, mm. which isn't very nice and nice. Uh, so I, I thought about what I could do here and I went here. Honestly, couldn't have done this, I think. I should have, uh, I think as counterintuitive as it looks, I should have tried to run around the um, uh, the edge of the board, mm. but maybe you know it was lost anyway. This would just have ah, to. Ah, here comes in. from the background the next piece to the party, and this is yep. very dangerous because these Sagittarii are still or or already in a very good position. And now I bring this dude, and he can split up into two uh, Hestedi, and this is yep. very dangerous. Uh, I took one move back uh as i w wanted to highlight i just made this move very quickly as the only uh real threat i had was time pressure <laughs> yeah. and i did another atrocious move again it doesn't really matter in this case but i just moved into the enemy uh archer you don't you shouldn't do this uh, but but yeah, I did so. so. Uh, and the, basically, I'm I've just killed the majority of my escape fields, mm. and uh, <laughs> this is not good. And um, yeah, here yeah, you, comes my you're... archer, stripping away away the defense. You can take. But now this! Ooh, you may think, hey, the service is not capable of anything, he is not valuable. Who in the hell needs this dude? I need him. He is very good in defense and he is very good in bringing down the enemy tribune and now is a perfect time setup. Now, uh, this is a very beautiful structure. Because these uh, hexagons are are all attacked. I can go here, but uh, this isn't any different to uh, going here, as this hexagon doesn't exist, so I, I cannot run there. Yeah, this is very important. Two dudes behind one another, and you cannot pass. And so as there, so th this is why. Th there is no difference between these two moves. And this hexagon is also blocked. Yeah. So <laughs> because of the Sagittarius going there deliberately, getting damaged, and now he's very important of... <laughs> I really like this game. And you know, this revision is really what Tribune is about and what we have to show to the world. And so, these are basically my only options now. Well, this isn't even an option, as it's also attacked, so... Essentially, it's on one straight line. Now, it doesn't matter where I go, as, uh, as I said, there is no difference in the two moves, and you can just use the straight line attacker yeah. to attack me and block all hexagons on the straight line. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I, I'm... Ah, oh, press oh. F1. F1. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, it happened to me. Uh, that's why I know how to solve this. Yeah, so... This is basically a very nice, uh... Like, finishing move. And, um... Yeah. I think it was an all-around good game. and I'm very annoyed. Uh, that I did not, like, grab my I initiative uh, and pummel through uh, your defense up there, but... Uh, it or... would have been devastating. Uh, we have seen that this one move could have changed everything, and I thought I was stable in my defense, but I just wasn't prepared for this. So the next time... 
it will most likely be my corpse. <laughs> yeah, but you uh, did a very nice uh, counterplay impression, and uh, well, I think uh, that's it for the game. Uh, not quite. Oh, you I took, took you and you took. You went with your head held high into the sword like a real tribune, so thank you very much for this game. And yeah, this wraps up everything, and now the final words for you. So, uh, the increasingly shiny guy, as <laughs> the light outside died down, and, you know, the monitor and stuff. Um, anyhow, ways, uh, I, th I think this was a nice game. It, it showcased a lot of tactics uh, and a few, like, patterns, how to uh, attack the Centuria Tribune. Which is always very welcome, as this guy is a very, very annoying piece. Yeah. Um, and I just hope you enjoyed the game or the game. Uh, referring to the game in and of itself, Tribunes, uh, Pugna Pro uh, Canai, or uh, the game uh, Wolf's Pack. But, you know, I, I hope we could inspire you to play the Game of Thrones, the ancient Game of Thrones. Yeah. Where you take down the enemy, uh, to, well, to unite the thrones uh, under your leadership, essentially. Yeah. And basically, in the description, you will find everything you need. And there's a link to our homepage, www.tribune.org, uh, where you find all the necessary stuff you need to play Tribune on a real board, or maybe on the tabletop simulator, uh, simulator like we do. Maybe we meet each other. And play together. Yeah, and so I hope you um, enjoyed yourself. Uh, you know the gist uh, basic YouTube stuff liking, subscribing, sharing. We would really appreciate this. Uh, we will be on like an uh, exhibition again. Uh, the last one was, I think, a success. We met a lot of very nice people. Yeah. And uh, well, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, we wish you a great day and a wonderful time. And until we see us again, I would say see you soon. On Tribune.